Hi, I'm Andy, a collection specialist at Credit Sage, and my goal is to help people learn how they can remove challenge financial from their credit report. And, and actually, in many cases, without paying the debt at all. So if that's you, uh, thank you for clicking on the video. Or even if it's somebody that you know, uh, I'm confident that you're going to walk away from this video knowing what the next best step is to take. Now, uh, I want to preface all of this by saying that this doesn't mean that you shouldn't take action. Um, if, for example, you know or believe that Challenge Financial, actually any of the uh, accounts on your, your credit report are the result of identity theft or have a wrong balance after they've already been paid um, or you know any other major issues that are really affecting your life, you may be owed a settlement. And we work with a network of local attorneys that will work on your behalf, all zero cost to you, win or lose, uh, in addition to getting the accounts permanently deleted from your um, uh, credit report. Um, or, you know, if no issues like that that exist and you just want the, uh, you know, the, the account removed from your credit report, we can help with that too. Just give us a call today. Uh, I will put our, our number in the description area below so you can find that. Um, but today what I want to do is I want to go through some of the most important questions that we get about this company. And the, the first one that I have here, I think is really important. And that is, can you get uh, arrested or jail time uh, for a debt with Challenge Financial? I put this one at the top of the list because uh, we get a lot of callers that are terrified that this could happen. And it makes sense. I mean, few people are really taught how credit and debt work in school. Uh, myself included, I didn't know the answer to this until I got into the business. And fortunately, the answer is, unless the debt is related to specifically unpaid taxes or unpaid child support, you cannot be arrested or get jail time. So no need to worry about that whatsoever. Uh, the amount of the debt doesn't matter either. You could refuse to pay $1,000 or a $1 million. You will not be arrested or get jail time. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Oh, who is Challenge Financial? Why are they on your credit report? So they are what's referred to as a debt collector or credit collection agency. And what they do is they buy debts, unpaid uh, accounts like credit cards, for example, uh, often for very cheap. And then they try to collect the full amount. Okay. So, um, for example, imagine for a moment that you, you know, for whatever reason, have an unpaid card with Capital One, and it's $1,000. Challenge Financial could, in theory, come along and buy that debt for just $100, again, speaking hypothetical. Uh, now, they won't try to collect that amount. They'll try to collect that full $1,000 from you, right, which would give them a 10x return on their investment. So... Yeah, I mean, these companies can make a lot of money. And damaging your credit score by reporting the debt to your, your, your credit report is the primary strategy they have to get you to pay. Uh, however, the flaw with that is, and again, a lot of people don't know this, is that paying a debt on your credit report does not remove the account that's attached to it. That account will sit there for seven years damaging your score whether it's paid or not. So, uh, so a lot of time I, I always say, you know, paying the debt actually isn't in your best interest. It could just be a waste of money. In rare cases, paying the debt can even hurt your score further. So, uh, you know, all things to keep in mind. Um, in addition to credit reporting, they may uh, send scary letters. They may uh, call a lot. They may uh, even call your family members and your colleagues. Uh, again, if a collector has ever threatened you or uh, harassed you during non-business hours, you may be owed a lawsuit. So again, that's another case where you'd want to give us a call so we can connect you with a local specialist that will take action quickly. Um, should you negotiate a settlement with Challenge Financial? So uh, settling your debt with Challenge Financial is... Uh, well, it really depends on your goal. Um, typically, if you're wanting to improve your credit score, paying isn't the best option. Uh, why? 
because as I mentioned before, even if you pay the collection, it will still remain on your credit report for seven years. And that whole time, it's going to be damaging your score and keep lowering and lowering it. Um, instead, we always recommend that you work with an expert like us to review these accounts for you. And if, if certain issues exist, the accounts may be removed. And this, this is a win-win, right? You, you won't have to waste money paying a debt that won't help your score. And the negative account gets removed from your report. So really, it's, it's perfect. Um, oh, so yeah, how do you remove uh, Challenge Financial from your credit report? So it works like this. The, the Fair Credit Reporting Act gives every person the power to challenge information on their report. Um, I will say that the knowledge required to do this is a bit more involved than it might seem. Uh, I'm not saying that you shouldn't learn how to do it. Please do. But just go into that being prepared to spend uh, weeks, maybe months, uh, learning how to do it properly. Um, you know, th there's a lot of nuances to it. Uh, however, uh, you could hire a professional to handle it for you. And that way you can ensure that it's done properly the first time. You can save the extra time. Uh, and, and we're happy to take care of it for you. Um, we've dealt with challenge financial accounts many times, and they, they regularly have issues. Uh, and we've helped numerous clients deal with them. Um, you know, we'll take care of it for you too, if you'd prefer. Uh, how can you get challenge financial to stop calling you? <laughs> uh, this is a big one, right? Uh, so as I mentioned before, a challenge financial calling is their attempt to collect the debt they've purchased, okay? So the, what that means is the only reason that they're going to stop calling you is if you settle your debt with them uh, or you work with a company like ours to potentially have them removed from your report altogether. Uh, will challenge financial try suing or garnishing my wages? So... Challenge financial suing is unlikely. Uh, it can happen. It does happen. Um, but in our experience, it's rare. There are a lot of laws around how long they can sue for, what they can do if they win. What the, you know, it's just a long process. Uh, however, uh, if we're able to find certain issues with the account, then they won't be able to collect at all, which is, again, another benefit of using an expert. Uh, let's see. Another question is, what are my rights when dealing with Challenge Financial? Uh, this is a great question. So you have the right to dispute any of your debt that Challenge Financial has purchased. Uh, Challenge Financial is governed by the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, the FDCPA. And, and, and like I was talking about earlier, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the FCRA. Um, yeah, I mean, these acts can seem really complicated. But really, they, they provide a great deal of power to the consumer if you know how to use them properly. Now, if you don't have time to research these acts, uh, that's not a problem. You can give us a call today. We'll discuss your options with you. Um, and, and again, you'll find our, our number in the description area below. And with that, thanks for watching.